The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Native Fruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? I'm glad you asked. Um, so last week, we talked about uh, UFL to SMA adapters because we've got this um, RFM feather. And actually, let me uh, pull up the design. One second. People can see how many folders I have on my computer. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's go to the computer and I'll show off the design. Hold on, waiting for Eagle CAD to load up. You can do it. Eagle CAD. My computer. I replaced the fan on my computer, so it should be a little faster. I'm going to slow down. Um, okay, so this is the RFM Feather. And if y'all remember, um, last week we talked about this design. So this is a ufl connector let me put on the t-doc you so you can see hold on one second there's so many layers okay so this is uh the antenna using the ufl connector um ufl connectors allow uh quick attachment of a, you know to a tiny surface mount component and then it would go to an sma connector um and so last week on the great search we talked about ufl to sma adapters sma versus rp sma um, but now it's time to actually get an antenna. And I had, oh, hold on, let me get my Jake Norris antenna because people like what this Jake Norris is. So I got a couple antennas. Okay, so we got this ginormous antenna here and then I've got attached to a UFL um, adapter. And what I like about this antenna is it's got this tilt and swivel. So like, you know, it can be sticking up or it can be um, tilted to the right or it can be like tilted angularly like 45 degrees as a little like clicker there um this is a uh antenna that is not tilt and swivel it's just like you know you it goes on the top um here's another tilt and swivel this one is i don't know what this is i think this is a um wi-fi antenna so this is a, you know common people get routers you have a little wi-fi antenna sticking out um again you know you could have it be 45 90 degrees or straight out and so um yeah and this antenna which is this enormous um laura when antenna um, i thought i'd show how to find antennas because you can get uh any kind of antenna on digi they stock thousands and thousands of different ones um so maybe show people what to look for and some of the specifications when getting antennas so let's go to digi okay so let's look for uh let's just type in antenna start start with that um, and then last week, remember, we did the coaxial cables or the RF accessories. So this is like, you know, the image even is the thing that we want. We're like, yeah, I want a UFL to or, you know, SMA or RPSMA adapter. But we want a RF antenna. So let's look for a single band. And we're going to look for a um, antenna. Okay, so hold on. active as well. So let's start with that. And then um, there's like so many specifications to look for, but the first thing we want to do is like, okay, we want the frequency band. So we're going to be finding an antenna that's used for LoRa or uh, packet radio in the 915 megahertz ISM band. And that's in the US. In Japan, I think it's 868. And in parts of Europe, it's 433. Um, very similar, but let's just do, um, you know, 900 megahertz for us. So there's a couple of frequent, you know, there's a couple of places actually where you can do the frequency. Um, you can do the center, the frequency group, but I actually like frequency range um, because I can get, you know, the, the ten of the range is like, I'm generalizing a lot here because again, there's thousands and thousands of antennas, but in general, you want kind of like a tight range around 900. So maybe like 850 to 950 50 megahertz. So let's go down here. Okay. So a lot of options. So like I said, you know, if you're in Japan, you might want 868. Um, let's kind of like just pick out a bunch that go from like about 870 and are at least um, 915, 920, uh, 960, 950, 925. Because it's, you know, you don't, you don't want to be too specific. You want to have like, you want to have a range of options um 915 there's a lot and i'm just um option clicking all of these and 900 keep going keep going keep going okay and now we're actually kind of getting to the end because this is 
past 915. Okay, so let's apply. And let's also only look for ones that are in stock right now. Okay, so there's a lot of options. Um, so there's actually some antennas that already have a UFL connector. Um, and like these are actually pretty good. Like if it's inside of an enclosure, um, again, this isn't uh, weatherproof, but inside an enclosure, this is a perfectly good antenna. So a couple uh, of those, this is like a whip antenna. Some of these are like pretty huge. It's like a metal gigantic antenna. Um, you guys have high gain antennas. What we want, and some surface mount antennas, what we want is a, and this is called a whip antenna, because you can whip it through the air, I guess, I don't know. Um, and we want, it's like a tilt swivel whip. So go to whip and we want, we'll whip, tilt and swivel. There are other antennas. The basic trade-offs you're gonna get with antennas without going into you know five years of, of antenna education, which I don't have, is um, there's directionality and the match matchingness of the game of the of the uh, gain. Uh, so directionality is actually called the gain of the antenna. Now I just want to warn people because if you're like an analog engineer, you'll be like, oh, the gain of a circuit is how much it amplifies. These antennas are not active antennas unless you're purchasing an active antenna. The gain isn't like it doesn't give you more it just means how much more directional it is so if you're doing a project where you're trying to you know uh, you have a, an antenna and you're pointing it at like the moon or you're pointing it at another building or you're pointing it at you know uh, a warehouse or something and you want to transfer data back and forth you want a high gain antenna because you want to be able to reach that just in that one direction um, so it's high gain if you are just trying to like radiate and get data from all over the place because you have like a mesh network or you don't know where the nodes are, or you're doing like a, a LoRa uh, setup where um, your nodes could be traveling all around, you want a low gain antenna. And the lowest gain is one because it's like a unit circle. And then um, the, the matchingness of the antenna is the VSWR. And that it's like the something virtual standing wave ratio, I think. I don't remember what the V stands for. Basically, you want it as low as possible. The lower the number, and basically, you're going to get like two or less. That's normal. Is how efficient the antenna is at converting the electrical into RF energy. I again, I can't get into a huge uh, antenna uh, tutorial right now. Um, there's lots of good videos online on YouTube. Okay, so let's pick something with like a VSWR of two or less. Um, again, that's you know considered good. Other than that, you know, in general, the, and then the gain, remember the gain is um, how directional it is. It's not how much more power you're getting. And then we have a lot of good options. So I do like, you know, there's these really long ones and there's short ones. A um, lot of options here, actually, which is kind of good. Um, this one's nice. I kind of want like a huge one, which would be kind of cool. So you know, uh, I could do by price. You can see what's going on here. Um, this one's kind of short. This one is like this, this length. This one is so long, but this one looks good. I think this one is kind of the nice one because I want like a nice big antenna because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use this antenna to do range testing. I want to see like how far can we go with um, this LoRa or RFM uh, packet radio. So um this one is my pick the ant 916 oclg and this is by lynx um and I, like i've been using lynx antennas since uh like college and they're they've always been really good they're very reliable and they've got excellent data sheets um which tell you like they'll they'll give you the vswr and they'll give you specifications um and they're very reliable so i think this is gonna be my pick 10 bucks Come that's in. a great search that's a great search Where in the world